I sat on my couch, whiskey in my hand, and a warm fire burning in the fireplace beside me. The waves of warmth washed over me, relaxing my muscles as the snow laid sheets across the ground outside my window. The report I was watching on TV was explaining that we were reaching record colds at the moment. I shivered at the thought. My beautiful daughter, Alice, laid in bed upstairs, fast asleep. I put her to bed earlier tonight, and now I had the precious time to relax that I look forward to every night. I walked to the window, rolling my whiskey around in its glass. I slowly extended my neck as I looked around outside. The moonlight reflected on the white powder that dusted the entire ground. Inches and inches of snow were piling up. Through the darkness, I could barely make it out, but I saw movement in the snow. I took a worried step back. I knew it could simply be a deer, but something deep, rumbling and burning deep in my chest, told me it's something else. Something wrong. I shivered. Full of unease, I walked around the house, checking all the doors and windows. The back door was unlocked. I pulled the lock closed, sighing in relief. I walked back slowly to my nice, peaceful place on the couch. I rested back, imprinting on the couch cushions. My normally comfortable spot was now filled with unease. I adjusted and tried to relax. The noise from the TV made it hard, but I heard tapping on the glass in the other room. My heart dropped, and I shivered. I slowly stood up, grabbing the red-hot poker from the fireplace. I lifted it up to my head and slowly creeped into the other room. The tapping sound turned into a pounding as I came closer to the source. It sounded like it was coming from the back room. The door was still locked. Full of fear, I approached it and peered out the window. I couldn't see anything and wasn't willing to open the door to check. Shivers took my spine. I stepped back and walked up the back stairs. I walked down the hallway into my daughter's room. All of the danger around the house had invoked fear and unease, and I wanted to make sure she was safe. I opened the creaking door and turned on the light. I gasped in horror and called the police. My daughter was gone. Alice sat outside the back door. She was just barely too short for her father to see her through the window. She wondered innocently why the door wouldn't open. No matter how much she tapped or how hard she pounded, her dad wouldn't come open it for her. As her breath slowed again, her life slipping away to the cold, she shivered. <laughs>